Did you get it? Bro, I slid off my finger. <laughs> what? Fool. You're doing a tweezer. Look, you see it? I, I'm about to get it. Yeah. One, two. <laughs> nah, keep sliding. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I got this one for sure. One, two. I got it. Oh, I got a few. Oh. I feel better, though. You feel like you're good now? Yeah, there's nothing tickling around my nose. And, you know. Wow, I really did that, man. I pulled three and I'm like, yo, it's three more You don't see them? There's no, I don't got no <laughs> There's no boogers in them. It's just, you know. That's also his long hair. Yeah, man. Hey. <laughs> um, I must have been keep my nostrils, you know. Maybe if you can grow your hair, you can use your natural hair to, like, you know, do implants and stuff. Hey. You could do that. You possibly could do that. My boss, he got them bushy gray hairs coming out his nose. He white? Yeah, he a white guy. Yeah, white people got them bushy, bushy nose. Yeah, it's coming out his nose. Um, hey, you guys. Say hey, Darren. Hello. Hi. How are you guys doing? This is my best friend, Darren. Forever. You guys hear me? Forever. Okay, this is Darren, and I'm Adele. Welcome back to my channel. And today, we're going to do the ethnicity tag, but like, how is, uh, what is it? Which one is it? How is my ethnicity different from your Your best friend's ethnicity. Yeah. Hold on, wait. Oh, that's the first question. Okay, we're going to do the ethnicity tag, and then we're going to compare how different our cultures are. Because he's Ghanaian. GH all day. And I'm like very in. They speak tree. I don't know how to speak tree. I only know cuss words in tree. But um, is that recording? Yeah. Today we're going to do that. So the first question is how different is your ethnicity from your best friends? You want to start? Do you know um, the difference? Uh, I feel like I, I don't know. My culture, my ethnicity, mm -hmm. we got tribes. We have tribes. You guys have tribes? Yeah, we have 13. 13 tribes? I, I, I think it's 13. I keep missing, but it might be 13. They all speak different languages? Yeah. Pretty similar. Yeah, but the thing is, I feel like... Pretty similar, yeah. I feel like it's the food, mostly. The food is very different. Yeah, and... um, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's very, but I would say it's different. The food is... Indeed. It's prepared! Differently, differently and it's called differently but it's not my food is better of course but hey i mean your food is all right it's so <laughs> okay. it's all right you know i don't complain about it you know so, i don't eat gunian food i i've had liberian food maybe once or twice am i the first i'm the first liberian he knows so Everything is big. I know a lot more Ghanaian than you know Liberian, so that's, that's very true. I'm more educated on his culture than he is on mine. So that that's means true. I can speak for yours. I, I don't cheat on my culture. I, mean, oh. I keep. I stay where I'm supposed to be. I mean, when they come to hey, look at him, guys. Y'all, look at him go. He's seeing like burn food right now. Him. <laughs> what it do? And you're repping the challenge. I love it. Hey man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just lost it all day. <laughs> yeah. Friends and other cultures, you know, I I meet new friends, but I don't cheat as far as you know anything else. That hurts, but um. I would say the main difference is like just like how you guys grew up. You guys are like bred up differently. Like I feel like, correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like Ghanaians, they're like, especially the women. Mm -hmm. oh, actually, I'm, I shouldn't say that because people are going to be offended, but never mind. But I just feel like you guys are, you guys are bred up differently than we are. You may have bred Yeah, because you guys, they mostly sent you guys to the UK for uni or like, you guys call it uni. I don't know if that's right. University. Yeah, yeah. And stuff like that. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's a lot of Ghanaians in UK. And we're more like a United States based than you guys are UK based. I'll say, never mind. That's, I, I, I wouldn't know because <laughs> I, I just know the ones that come here. 
Um, Fake Ghanaians be like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, come on. Yeah, we can go to the second one. Have you ever adopted any ethnicity? Ooh. I just said I don't cheat. I stay within my ethnicity. I've never adopted anything. I would say you have, though. American. Uh, it's not a necessary it, it is. But I, I mean, I was born into it. I so I really had no choice. That is true. Um, I have. I have adopted the Americanness. Ugh. You know, now I can speak. I, I, I feel like I'm like very like. What's the word? I don't even know. I'm very diverse. Okay. I feel like I can. If you put me with Nigerians, I could be. I could like blend with them. If you put me with Ghanaians, I could. If you put me with like Grant, definitely could. Okay. So like I feel like I have adopted like a few yeah. ethnicities. Yeah, you you better than me because I had GH all day, baby. Yeah, I, I gotta do better. I gotta really, you know. Ghanaians are very I have to try. I have to try. I have to try. But I feel like that's just a Ghanaian thing because I feel like y'all are very selfish. Like y'all stick with your own people. Y'all don't yeah. venture out. That's why you guys don't know a lot about other that's, African countries. I think that's that's valid. I mean, I'm only here to speak facts, you know? I'm only here to let you guys know the truth. All right, so number three. Mm -hmm. Do you belong to any particular ethnic group? I mean, yeah, we... <laughs> <laughs> okay, what tribe? Asante. Asante tribe all day. What about mm -hmm. you? You want to tell them what it is? And not. Mine's is a little complicated. Okay. I'm two because my dad is one and my mom is one. So my dad is Guinean and my mom is Liberian. But I grew up in Liberia. I think I've already said this on my channel. I grew up in Liberia, so I claim more Liberian. But uh, the tribe that my dad is is the same in Guinea and in Liberia. So it doesn't really matter. So I'm Loma. My dad is Loma and my mom is Pele. So I'm Loma and Pele. But he don't know, know what that is. How, how does that? How does? How is the same? How does that work? Cause you know how close everything is. Like, like very. Like I said, like very very diverse, right? It's okay. like here. It's like coming here. Right, right. You have Mexicans. You have Chinese. Mm -hmm. You have you know you mm -hmm. combine and there's American Chinese and stuff. Okay, so it's okay. like that. So the border for Liberia and Guinea is really close, especially where oh, my dad is from. Okay. Lola is really close to Liberia, so mm -hmm. they're kind of like. Some of them kind of migrated over the Guinea. Okay. And then some of them migrated to Liberia. So, like, the tribe that kind of just share this similar tribe. But gotcha. then, in other words, I'll say I'm so so kind of too. And there's another tribe in Guinea. But okay. I'm just going to stick with Loma and Pele because, yeah, that's how they share similar. Okay. Yeah. Right. This is cool. Makes, makes sense. It's kind of cool. It's really, I, I always think it's cool. I don't know why. But my last name is so hard to say. <laughs> um, you want to read the next? I'll let you read the next one. Number four. Which food habits do you have? Which food habits have you adapted? Like, I just see this is confusing. Like, our culture or from each other? I don't think anything. Um, the only thing I would say jollof. I feel like everybody has jollof. Yeah. I would say jollof. Oh man. And fufu. Fufu. It's a hard question for me. It's very hard, man. It's, I really, I really just. What's that soup that your mom made? Pan butter. I haven't adopted it, but I like it. I enjoy it. I enjoyed it when I had it. I haven't really adopted any other ethnic food apart from Ghanaian food. Damn, I'm, I'm so terrible. I have to broaden my horizon. I'm trying, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Yeah, I feel like other than, I feel like I could say American food because I wasn't okay. born here. Okay. So I kind of have had to like have adopted. So I say American food. My favorite food in the whole universe is freaking burgers. I love. I haven't had burgers in two months. I'm proud of myself. I had to like cut it down, but burgers and the shits. And I don't think I have adopted any West African food, uh, except I check in. I check in fish. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's Ivorian. Ivorian Congolese. I think. I don't know. I think it's Ivorian. Uh, next question. One item in your wardrobe that belongs to your ethnicity. Uh oh. Well, I, what do you mean? I, I, I have a lot. I have a lot. I went to Ghana last year and we got a lot of Kente cloth and had a lot of material sold. So I got a few outfits. You have one on right now. Charlie? Yeah, I do, you know. I mean, technically, yeah, you do. Shout, shout out to Charlie Clothing. You know, I got to give my boys and a I'm shout not, out. I'm not sponsored, so. Here, repping, repping for y'all. <laughs> I'm not a sponsor. <laughs> yeah? Oh, yeah. Um, I don't have anything. Really? Nah, I don't think I do. I don't believe you. I, I don't have anything. Oh. I really don't. Not anymore. Hmm. Not clothing. They don't fit me, they're uncomfortable, and I like being comfortable. They're like tight, but I'm making a few because, you know, I need to rip. Yeah. You can, I cannot be African and just be not. That's true. I believe my African clothes. Um, Seven? Six? Six? Have you ever get. No, 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 no. Have you ever experienced a culture shock? talk about the culture and you're just like shock like let me uh let me look it up real quick <laughs> i think that's what it is what's cultural shock mean oh sure i clicked on the ad all right, all right. um i think we can just skip this question it's okay <laughs> yeah but i think that's what it meant like you just never expected a culture to be like the way it was you were shocked for me i think that's most likely I would say America. If that's if that's if that's what it is. I say America. You see how the children can be talking to the parents? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just be talking to me out. Anyway, anyhow. We were just talking about this. Me and my cousins upstairs, and like yeah. we was talking about like how now people don't play. Like we didn't know what Santa Claus was. Mm. Not Halloween. Okay. Um. I didn't remember who racism was. Like, okay. it's big here. It's like a trend yeah. almost to me. I don't know why I feel like that's how I feel like they make it. Um, right. Like, kids don't play outside nah. as much. Nah. Everything is just, yeah, it was a huge yeah. culture shock. Coming to America was just like. And even, um, I mean, being raised in that African household, the one thing that our parents didn't really let us. Halloween wasn't really, they never took us trick or treating or, you know, Thanksgiving, we did Thanksgiving, we did Christmas, but yeah. Halloween, like, what is that? Do you want to worship the devil in my house? Nah, never. never. Like like <laughs> you cannot. Shoot, sure, Halloween night, we was, we was at church, man. We got all night service. <laughs> You have what? Do you, yeah. And then your parents will turn the light off. Yeah. Too. Don't come yet. You cannot, there's no candy for you. Yeah, I, I hated it. But, <laughs> you know, I, I wanted to go trick or treat with my friends. And <laughs> we at church, everybody clapping, speaking in tongues. And I'm I'm sitting there like, man, this can't be it. Nah, this ain't it. This ain't it. It gotta be something better. Next year, I'm, I'm faking a sickness so I can stay home. <laughs> and then I'm going out. Trick or treat. Yeah. I don't think I've been trick or treating since. High school. Yeah, me too. I don't think I, I mean, missed it though. After high school, I don't think you should go anymore. Facts. After that, you old enough. Some people say you're never too old to yeah, get candy. Never, never too old to get candy. Just find a find a little kid and just go trick or treating with them. Like, wow, do you see yourself? Do you hear yourself? Hey, hey you want to go trick or treating? I, I'll take you. <laughs> you we, got, we got two bags. My got my bag. You got your bag. <laughs> they give the kids some candy. I'm like, yo, can I get some too? You know? <laughs> To my daughter at home. <laughs> she too my, little to come. She, she too little to come, but she'll appreciate you. <laughs> my daughter that I don't have, but she'll appreciate you. <laughs> All right, next question. Is there any particular dance move that you love? I can dance. I don't know how to dance. But I do like that new one, that uh, the, the little thing. The oh, sh shaku? 
no, no, this isn't is it a woman you do and then you the bounce their legs. Oh I don't know, but that that shock will go hard too. Yeah. They they yeah, that, that shock what's that dude's name? Uh Brad, not Brad No. Um What's his name? I I I was just watching that video dancing. I was just dancing to it. I was you know, I got moves, man. I got my skills, man. His Afro B. Yo, shout out to Afro B. Joanna. Jo <laughs> Yo, I feel, yeah. like, I feel like when you're, if you're yeah. African and that's the only African yeah. song you know, yeah. you should revoke your African card yeah. because guess what? That's the American National Anthem. It is, it is. Hey, look. Yeah. 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 That's the American National Anthem. Americans, <laughs> they love Afro B and Joanna. That's their jam. And if I dare you say I love you, that song, oh my gosh. Every time I hear that song on the radio, just like I'm going to slap somebody. Like, did you just, I don't mind. I get so upset. Like, you, you, there's thousands of songs. Pick one. Pick one. Leave Joanna alone. Hey. And if you don't know which one to pick, come holler at me. When I be in that shower, I got that playlist. And it's all African bangers. Every single one of them. Brenda Boy, he's like, you You not started listening to Brenda Boy. Brenda Boy, he, man. Alexa, play Burner Boy. It's <laughs> going. It's we, the jams is flowing. Yo, man. Afrobeats is... I can't listen to anything else. Well, I can. I listen to sad shit, but other than that, oh. I don't listen to Afrobeats. I can't listen to rap. I don't listen to rap music. I can't do it. I listen to... Young Thug, you know, he be having them bangers. The ghetto. <laughs> young, young and May, I be sleeping on Young and May. The ghetto. It's okay. Ghetto. Uh, who else? Who else we listen to? Kanye West, I know. Like, Kanye West is my favorite uh, rapper. Kanye and T.I. When I did listen to rap music, I listened to Kanye and T.I. I never really liked T.I. T.I. wasn't really... He wasn't... I like Jay-Z. Cheese! You like cheese? Everybody from New York. Everybody from the Bronx. Everywhere. So you like Cardi B? Cardi I like Cardi. Cardi. Free 6 9 <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I don't, I don't want no parts of that. Don't come for me. I don't know that I'm man. I'm going to answer his Instagram so I, I can come for him. I don't know who that man is. <laughs> Like, the one 
big problem that my mom always have with like black Americans or black people, let's just say, um, is that they don't speak. <laughs> you cannot walk into an African home and you do not speak. Like y'all mm -hmm. don't speak. That's true. And it's just like, is this your house? And they don't respect house rules. That's a huge difference. Like the way they be, I don't know. It's it, yeah, like yeah. just the quarter, yeah. like the everything that's associated with yeah. like being black that's, that's, and stuff. That's Africans true. don't mess with that. That's true. Yeah, they, I think um, and, and I hate to say this too, but I feel like Africans, most Africans, may have more. I want to say respect values than African Americans. I will go into somebody's house and we'll be like, good evening, sir, ma'am, or, you know, yeah. say that, but, you know, if you bring your African American friend home, they'll probably walk straight past them, you know. That's not all of them, not Just all of them. Some. some would, but, you know, we're, we're brought up to, you know, any adult, you know, you automatically have Call to respect them. Auntie, them. auntie uncle. uncle, ma, yeah. da. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's a lot different. Yeah. <clears throat> like, even, like, what, like, just, like, the way, like, they, va like, the things that they value, like, their yeah. mindset. Yeah. I always, I always said that, um, yes, I get slavery was real, like, it's yeah. a real thing, yeah. but I feel like some people are still enslaved. Like the way they think. Like I was brought up. I don't know if I agree, about, but I know in my African home and most African that I know, there was brought up like there's one thing that nobody takes away from you, and that's your education. Yeah. No matter what, what the white man does to you, whatever, you forget that and you get your education. And that's how it was always. But I feel like black people didn't be like, well, if I go to school and I learn this, I feel like the white man is not going to give me a job. Like they're just always worried about what the white man is going to do, and it's never like. Well, I'm gonna better myself because yeah. I want to better myself, and I feel like that's like a yeah, yeah, I, that's I really like mean. very enslaved. Because I always say like, yo, it's not better that somebody was taken away from their home mm -hmm. and brought to another place to be slaves, but imagine being slaved in your own home. It's like somebody right, coming right, into your right. home and, and um, taking over, and still being able to get over that and better yourself. And I feel like that's what most Africans work so hard. Mm -hmm. So the proof, and I feel like sometimes black Americans just do not understand the concept. They're just like, why don't you guys come here? You guys take the jobs and do this because we don't have that enslaved so mind. We, we got to get it, man. Yeah. We got to, like, I know, I understand how it was for my parents to get here. Yeah. So not seeing my parents work as hard as they work. And now I'm like, man, I got to get it. You know, I can't be thinking about nothing else. And, you know, like, my parents work very hard to get here, so I have to do everything that I can do to get where I need to be to, you know, eventually provide for back home and take care of back home and take care of my siblings and parents because, you know, it wasn't easy for them to get here. No, not at all. And I feel like that's, that's why a lot of immigrants, you know, they come to America to, you know, provide a better future and then, they their kids see their parents what their parents go through and they're like oh man you know like you gotta work too so yeah yeah that's that's one of the differences but i feel like what what makes that difference is like they were <coughs> most of them well they're already here yeah they're already here some people are comfortable because they're already here and then we're just getting here. We came here for a reason. Yeah. We came yeah, here it to better. Know, get it. We have you know, a purpose. We have, yeah, we came here with a purpose. So we have to fulfill that purpose. Yeah. And that, yeah, because we, because we're here for a purpose, like we work harder and like sometimes work with that purpose. is mm -hmm. just nothing. Yeah. So I feel like, and, and another thing too, that makes it feel like, oh, uh, it's, um, it's not different, but it's like, I don't know, I don't know how to phrase it, so I'm just not even gonna talk about it. Because <laughs> it's just gonna sound really bad, and I'm yeah. gonna look like a really bad person. Yeah, uh, alright, next question, next question. We're probably gonna, let's see what's, well, I'm probably gonna turn this into part two.
In two parts. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Apart from your country's song, do you know any other national anthem? Mm. Do you? I, I know the Ghana national anthem. I know the American national anthem. Apart from those two, yeah. nothing. Me too. <laughs> That's it. Liberia and um, and America. How, how does the Liberian one start? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I forgot. It's like, oh, I'm like, man. All hell, Liberia, hell. All hell. All oh. hell. God bless our homeland. God, uh, you sing yeah, I'm that gonna, song. I'm gonna stop right there because I'm not a singer. I can't sing. So you're not a singer now. Yesterday, um, while you were singing. Yeah, yesterday, my throat, man. I don't know. <clears throat> Something happened. I, 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 don't, I don't got it today. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Um, what sport is your absolute favorite? You go first. I already know. I I like football. I like football. Um. I know back in Ghana, everybody loves soccer. I cannot play soccer. I feel like I'm too you don't big. You don't team. I, no, I don't know. Well, I know I know Ghana's team, Black Stars. That's a national team. That's FC. A, you know what I mean? Chelsea. I told you that. Uh, <laughs> the Barcelona, the Barcelona one. Yeah, that's one. Man, what's the uh, what's the other popular one? Man United. United. Man United. Yeah, that. that. Manchester United. Manchester United. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I can name all the NFL teams, but we're not gonna go there. Uh, what's, what's your? Soccer. Oh. Soccer and basketball. I say soccer. I like basketball too. My kids are never gonna play football. Period. Who? Uh. My kids will play baseball, so no, no Please. head traumas, you know, I'm trying to get this money. I'm not going to go to any of your kids' games. <laughs> Just don't call me like I'm so mad. If you're mad, can't you come to Lil John's game, I'm going to say no. I'm, I'll be outside, so okay. <laughs> I'm going to say no. That I'll be outside. That shit don't end. I, I know you're not going to waste my gas, so I'm going to be outside. No, yeah. you did bad. We're I'm, gone, yeah. No. I'm going to be in another state anyways. I, I know you don't want to make your nephew sad. You know, I most I, definitely will. I, I, yeah, son, I don't know why auntie's not coming. We're going to peek through the, the window. Oh, auntie right there. You see her? She's not on the window, son. All right. No, bro. Baseball is the most boring. That's boring. Man, professionals, ever. they get money, man. Professionals. Because it's boring. Nobody but this. Bro, what? No. Next question. <laughs> because we are going to can you imagine? That was it? Which? I'll probably do like two thirty-five, then I'll split it into two. Okay. So how many five? We need juicy questions. Like okay. conversational starters. Okay. Um. They're having a party back there. Here than from your your ethnic your ethnicity. I can't even say how are women even different in Ghana and Liberia. Let me, let's make that let's make that interesting. Um, well, that's it's kind of a fact because you don't really know that many Liberian women. Let's let's just do women because I feel like most African women share the same. I feel like African women and black women. It's a, it's a little. It's a difference. It's a little difference. Okay. You know, traditionally. Right. And you know, because African women are brought up differently. Yeah, like. And then I feel like the women here are, <laughs> you know, a little more different. Um, like, what's what's one big difference that? Because I don't. I've never. Let's just say dating. Right, because you mm -hmm. dated both. Um, yeah. So, what do you think is the biggest Dang, difference I, between the two? I don't know about this question, man. I, you know, I just, there's gonna be I don't know problems. But stay tuned for part two. 
Yeah, part two. All right, so. and I'm gonna stop it right here, and then yeah. we're gonna finish the question. You're gonna have to read it again. Ah, fuck. Oh, my legs fell asleep. Damn, that was.